Jeff, I'm glad you're home. I have to talk to someone. I just had the weirdest day of my life. Now get this. I'm babysitting my sister this afternoon. We're out in the backyard. She's playing. I'm working on my bike. No big deal, right? Yeah. And then Christine comes over and tells me she cut her finger. I tell her to get a bandage. I know that's normal. Just wait. I'm getting to the weird part. She says to me, Mickey Mouse told me all cuts should be washed with soap and water, but not every cut needs a bandage, just the ones that are still bleeding after you wash them. So I say to her, Oh, is that what your Mickey Mouse doll told you? That's nice. <laughs> now get this, Jeff. Christine says, But it wasn't my doll. It was the real Mickey. I tell her to come over and let me feel her forehead. It wasn't her cut we should be worrying about. It was her head. And then, the next thing I know, I'm in this, this clubhouse. <laughs> And there's Mickey Mouse, <laughs> big as life, talking to me. Hi, Jack. Hi, Christine. <laughs> Welcome to the Safety Clubhouse. Hi, Mickey. Loved your movies. Biggest fan. Gosh. Christine, whatever you have, I've caught it. I'm talking to Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I told you, this is Mickey's Clubhouse. That's right. It's where my friends and I come to learn about safety. You'll love it here, Jack. It's fun. Yeah, it's swell. We do all kinds of things. Watch movies. Play games. Learn all about safety. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's great here and everything, but we have to get home. Mom and Dad will be back any minute. No problem. Nikki has a special screen that lets you tune into home. Uh-huh. See? We can tell when Mom and Dad get home and just pop back there. Great. But why am I here? Well, Mickey and I figured you can never know too much about home safety. Right. You are taking care of someone very important, you know. Me. You bet. <laughs> hey, I've been taking care of you for years. I know all about home safety. Then you really love it here. Just take a look at this. If you would, Mickey. Sure. <laughs> Christine, look! It's your friend Lisa. Sure. I told you we're all friends with Mickey. Watch what we learned about answering the phone if there's no one Hello? else home. Hello, is your mother home? I'm sorry, my mother's busy and can't come to the phone. Well, I'll wait. It's important. Can I take a message and have my mother call you back? But I need to speak with her right away. I'm sorry, but my mom's still busy. Are you sure I can't take a message? No thanks. I'll call back. Thanks for calling. Bye. See, Jack? We learned it's important never to tell someone that your parents aren't at home. And if anybody tries to keep talking, just thank them for calling and hang up. Ha! All right, Christine! I knew that. Great! Then you can tell us what to do if you're home alone and the doorbell rings. Let me see. Think this through. I think you should go to the door and ask who's there. But no matter what, you should never open the door. Ha! You got it! What's this? Hello? Who is it? I'm delivering something for Mr. John Hunt. That's my dad. He's busy right now. Well, can you sign for the package? No, only my dad can do that. Can you come back later? No problem. I can just leave the delivery slip by the door. Have your dad sign it and I'll deliver the package tomorrow. Okay, bye. I wouldn't open the door to get the slip. I'd wait till one of my parents came home. Yeah! But what if the person at the door won't go away? Uh oh. Or the emergency number in your area. Oh, yeah. If you 
tell them what's wrong, they can send someone to help you. I told you I knew this home safety stuff. Throw another one at me. Okay, come on. Say you burn yourself. What do you do? No problem. Is there a sink in here? Uh-huh. Why, sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> See? Just running under cool water. But what if it's a really bad bird or somebody has a really deep cut? Well, then I guess the best thing to do would be to get help. Call 911 or the emergency number in your area again. Very good. Well, guess that does it. I know all about answering the door, the phone, and all about emergency numbers, too. You got a great place here, Mickey. Huh? But Christine and I have to be going now. We do? Sure do. I'm starving. Oh, that's no problem. Mickey's a great cut. Yup. Ha! Come on! Oh, boy. I should have known. Mickey and I call these safe snacks. That's right. Delicious. Easy to make. And good for you, too. And Jack, this is the important part. We don't have to use a sharp knife or the stove or the oven to make these snacks. So, what's to eat? <laughs> Raisins, yogurt, trail mix, carrot sticks, cheese, fruit, granola bars, celery, juice, and crackers. And one of my favorites, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. Great. I'll take one of each. Jack! I can't help it. Safety always makes me hungry. Mickey, may I please have some milk? Huh, sure. <laughs> that hit just the spot. What's next? My favorite. The part where my big brother gets to show what he knows. Yeah! <laughs> No problem. Fire away. Huh, don't mind if I do. What do you do in case of fire? Oh, that's easy. I've known about fire safety since I was little. Wish there was somewhere I could show you. There is! Come with me! <laughs> now, just dial in the past! All right. Hey, it's our house. But before you were born. That's how long ago Mom and Dad started teaching me about fire safety. In fact, I was younger than you when I made my first fire escape plan. Mom and Dad helped me pick two ways to get out of every room. Why don't you show us how you're going to get out through that window? Then we drew a map showing all the different routes. Dad showed me how to open the windows in each room. Climb up on this hill and jump down. Alarm goes off. You go right to the door and right out the front door. Then we picked a meeting place outside. Wait a minute. Hold everything. Stop this film. I just realized I'm the one answering all the questions. Isn't it your turn? <laughs> no problem. Just watch this film Mickey and I made the last time I was here. Yeah, it's swell. You're in bed. You hear the smoke alarm. You roll out of bed and get down on the floor fast. Then stay low. You know why, Jack? Because that's where the air is safest to breathe. Not bad. Anyway, crawl over to the door and feel the door and the knob. Oh, oh. If they feel hot, crawl back to the window. Know what to do if you live on the second floor or in an apartment? If I didn't have a collapsible ladder, I'd Whoa! open the window and hang something out of it. Yeah, like Mickey's doing. So the firefighters would know where I was. Whoa! Then I'd yell for help and wait. Whoa! Whoa! Over here! And Whoa! Whoa! if you live on the first floor and the door feels hot, crawl out the window. You really know this stuff. I told you Mickey and I have been practicing. Want to see more? Sure. 
Oh, boy. Okay, if the door is cool, open it very slowly. Then peek out to be sure you don't see smoke or flames. Okay. If you don't, stay low and head for the safest exit on the plan you made with your parents. Know what Mickey's going to do now, Jack? I told you I've been practicing since I was little. Mickey's going to go right to the meeting place you all planned on, so you can be sure everyone is out. And the most important thing of all, Christine, and I'm saying this because, well, you know, you are my little sister, and sometimes I worry about you. You do, Jack? Never go back into the house, no matter what. Not for our dog, our cat, your toys, not for anything. Stay outside. Once you're outside, never go back. And something else. If your clothes ever catch on fire, stop where you are, drop to the ground or floor, and roll back and forth until the fire is out. Hands up over his face. Okay, drop down. Okay. Okay, now roll to your right. See? Stop, drop, and roll. I know that. I know all about fire safety. I even know you should get out first, then call the fire department after you leave the house. Very good. And speaking of telephones, do you know how to use a phone in an emergency? Jack's an expert at the telephone. He's always on it. Ha ha. Well, the best thing to do is tape a list of important numbers onto or next to the phone. That's right. We have a list with our parents' numbers at work, a neighbor, a relative. Ha! Ah, right! And 911. That's the number for the police, the fire department, and the ambulance in our area. Ha! Ah, in mine, too! If you don't have 911 in your area, you should know the number for the police, the fire department, and the ambulance. And you should know what to say to them. Before I could read, my mom helped me memorize my name, address, and phone number. Then she showed me how to use the phone in an emergency. Answer all their questions about your name, address, what's wrong, and then stay on the line until they tell you it's okay to hang up. You know, Mickey, I think it could be hard to remember all this stuff. I bet that's why my parents made us plan and practice. Oh, my God! <laughs> words, plan, and practice. Jack, you've earned an official Mickey Mouse Safety Clubhouse sticker. Huh. Congratulations! It's like I always say. This is the good part, Jack. Have a seat. If you have a plan, Good job, Mickey. Gosh, that's swell. Ah. Whoops, there are our parents. Mickey, we have to go. Ah, bye bye. See you real soon. So get this, Jeff. We pop back into the house just as my parents are walking in the front door. My parents ask how we are. Christine says, Great. I mean, she was acting like it was the most natural thing in the world to spend the afternoon at Mickey Mouse's safety clubhouse. I don't get it. 
Maybe I was dreaming. <laughs>